Good morning. Good morning, welcome. Yeah. Connie, simple question. How do you feel to, to see this project? Oh, my heart is on fire with excitement today. Uh, we are so proud. This is another major milestone in the successful launch of the San Diego Football Club. Uh, it started two years ago with Saquon Tribe passionately pursuing a strong partner and in the Right to Dream organization with a global football presence and knowledge and their true acceptance of the tribe as a partner at the table, letting, you know, have, having a, a role in operations and governance. It's something that we, it's truly remarkable, their belief in their trust in the tribe. And, and we were able to reciprocate by developing this beautiful project on our land and we are in this for the long term. So it's really great to see our tribal members here supporting this investment. It's a new chapter for Saquon, and we're so proud. Thank you. What is that, what is that finish, uh, the date to finish this project? Well, we need this club, or this academy to support the first team launching in 2025. So we're under a tight timetable, but we are very confident we'll be able to successfully complete the project by January 2025. For the Native American community in general, like, how significant is this? We had other seniors here for this morning's cultural uh, ceremony that are represented from other tribes. Saquon has always been a leader in, in San Diego go amongst tribal nations so they they are very proud and to support tribe to support Saquon because we know that there's going to become benefits out of this opportunity that it's going to be able to be spread and felt against across all tribes all of the Kumeyaay nation especially our tribes here in San Diego County so this will be right next to the golf course out here yes yeah we will continue to still operate the Singing Hills Golf Resort is this uh, taking up golf space or is it previously so previously space? we had the 18 hole par 3 executive course which was one of the only uh, ones like it in San Diego County so it is now going to be reduced to a 9 hole par 3 course so we are still going to be able to have an experience for uh, seniors uh, senior women juniors that come out here to work on their short game on the par 3 course okay. how big is soccer in the native community native American community it is it's large and it has room to grow uh, a bigger presence in the midwest and the southeast uh, uh, but we, we are making an admission to, to work with Right to Dream to scout Native America, Native American reservations, Southern California and beyond. Uh, we want natives to this academy also. We have a long history going back over 30 years of, of financial support of all of our major professional teams. So it's been a it's been a dream and a vision to sit at the owner's table. And we had a perfect opportunity with, with Major League Soccer. And now it's actually come to you guys, right? That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you.